That looks very intimidating. <laughs> is this where is this where Monokumas are made? Mommy and Daddy said a stork comes by. A stork delivers a baby Monokuma. When a mommy and daddy are ready, when a mommy and daddy love each other very much, with the Mona boost um, gone, we cross the fifth bridge and arrive at, oh, I'm not even, they're not even gonna let me walk. They're like, you just go to the island. So this is the last island. It's like an industrial slash like city building. Um, So this is the last island. Oh, you already said that. Okay. Enormous buildings toward out, towered up everywhere as if the entire island were one gigantic city. Um, it felt very sci-fi as though the island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it be fitting of a final island. <laughs> Jimmy, have you- uh, Jimmy, you sound like you've never gone on vacation before. <laughs> it's Monokuma land! I mean, we just were at the theme park, but this is a more fitting theme park for Monokuma. Oh, this is- I don't like this place. Is this what the world has become? Oh. Monokuma, I feel- Sir, 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 I feel like you have a- you have a little bit of- a little bit of an ego. He's a bit of a narcissist sometimes. What am I- what is this? Seeking Industries? Nothing makes sense on this island. Monokuma's always watching- Big Brother's always watching. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is where Mono Beasts are made. What is- what is the- Excuse me, what is the person at the bottom of the right screen? I don't know where I'm pointing, but you can... So what is this? <laughs> They're making cyborgs? Wait, is one of us not actually a person? Is one of us a robot like Monokuma? Oh my god, that would be such a twist. I see you, Bear, by the way. I see you over there. I'll grab you in a second. The not destroying machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Hmm. I think also, this would be a perfect spot for Soda. Cola, Cola's always where the machines are. I have to get used to saying Cola because Pebbles and I were like, yes, we're gonna call him Cola. Seeking Industries, huh? huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electro electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees. Only 100 employees is not a lot for a big in industrial um, company, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh. I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides the size of the company, uh, well, besides the size of the company isn't the issue oh, here. On. This company obviously doesn't, obviously doesn't make machine parts, so just what the heck are they making here? Death. Lots of death. He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. It seems like it uh, might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. I'm getting my bear. They're gonna be bothered. What is, see, what is this? I feel like one of us isn't a per- Why is it a female? Because if it's a female, it makes me think like either Akane, Sonia, or Chia. Maybe that's why Chia doesn't show much emotions. Maybe Chia's actually a robot. That's another Terminator. Mm. Um, this automated machine looks like it's making something. Is that a mannequin? That's a very- Maybe. That's a very- a very, a very elaborate mannequin. That's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? You serious? Seriously, how can they make a robot? <gasps> <gasps> Just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Neko was made here? That was close. To some other humanoid robot, it's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey. But who would a company that, wait, but why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? And also, if they could make the robots look that humanoid, why did Neko look like some sort of cyborg man? It's like, that's why I'm like, I don't think he was made here. I, I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation too. I think everything connects to the Future Foundation at this point. And this is a this looks like a Mono Beast. At least I'm pretty sure it's a Mono Beast. Like 99% sure. This this machine is making another machine. This the finished product looks like a mod. Uh, it's modeled after the four-legged animal. Hey hey hey! Doesn't that animal-looking machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the Mono Beast? Maybe. Is there any chance that the, these those Mono Beasts were created here? A mono base were created here. Fine, fine. Yep, that's just a that, what that's what this place is for. Well then what's this person down here? Also, we're making humans look like looking robots and we can make Sailor Moon human. We can make Sailor Moon. We already have a Sailor Moon. I mean I guess we could make her human though. We could actually make her look like Sailor Moon. Hey! Hey! No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? Bye-bye! That's why it's just fine. And now he's gone. What the hell did he mean by that? He wasn't even making any sense at all. Ah. It 
doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place isn't for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and mod modified it to do this? It seems like he takes over a lot of places and modifies it to his own means. Damn it, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Do you have anything else to say, Cola? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Cola, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Why? Why? Because you started laughing all of a sudden. Like, I'm so, so, sociopath. Yeah, she could become the ultimate dress and become, could actually, um, could, you could actually respect <laughs> a sailor who would finally earn some respect. <laughs> well, obviously, what else am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey. Well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> Psh, I'm guessing he found, like, naughty stuff or something. He was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible, delusional story. Well, damn, let me just shoot this man's idea down. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story? So what was written in the email anyways? Well, I'll start off with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. And these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously, that's not... It makes me think that, like... Because Hope's Peak Academy was supposed to be the, um... The future of humanity. It was supposed to be humanity's hope. I feel like, instead of becoming humanity's hope, the students became humanity's despair. And because they're ultimates, they're a little bit stronger than normal people, in a sense. That they all kind of, like, teamed up and they made, um... The world and the future foundation. And that... Pretty much the school took over the world, in a sense. Yeah. So these rights just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society until eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the mm. world. But just of those riots started getting circulated and strange incidences, um, incidents that started occurring um, one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? <laughs> I know, right? It sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Hey. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with a better story with better stories ideas because this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on, on that scale is totally impossible. I'd never believe it for a second. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Hey, about that, are you sure it's okay to say that it's just a just a made up story? <laughs> uh, uh, of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but of course not. There's way this is real it's more impo it's it's more impossible than a notebook that kills people that's my huh i wonder what notebook he's talking about it would have to do it would have to do with a uh, note of death or anything you're right it's just a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us so maybe i'm getting a little confused but the world the world ending there's no way something so unbelievable could happen i am <laughs> i mean if you think about it, Monokuma kind of has a Kira complex. Like, he thinks he's doing what's right, but, like, it's in a very bad, very bad way. <laughs> well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, this used to be a Sea King Industries, but it's not anymore. After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us? Uh, that's the reason? That's right. It's not so weird. This whole time he's doing been doing similar stuff. I mean, he's not wrong. Now I want to make a parody of Kira's famous line, but with, with, but with why Sailor Moon? <laughs> but why? This is bad. Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching kids kill, um, kids kill each other. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, th there's been a lot of horror movies where the rich get off on having like lesser people or poor people kill each other. Wait, for money. Um, wait, hold on. Now that I said that out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean, if that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich, perverted bastards. It sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. Unless I'll weep it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Good, good. It's all coming together. <laughs> Because Sailor Moon would be powerful, she could easily kill, but... Uh, uh, well, maybe. Mo Monokuma does beat her up quite a bit. I'm gonna do this too, by the way, because I have a lot of coins, so I, I figured I would be able... I, hopefully I could buy more gifts. 
So I'm just gonna give all these to my little Chibium, Chibium, Ch Chibini. I'm gonna call it Ch Chibini. Uh, I'm not gonna give you those. Cause those are my, these are my precious. I don't give those to anybody. Those are my, my, my secret precious. No one touch. Uh, I'm give you this. I'm trying to get her hope meter all the way up. I need two more hearts. Cause I don't want Shidium again. If I get Shidium again, I swear to God. <laughs> Those are ways to die by Monokuma number one. Break the pretty much. You break the rules yet. That's that's a good way not to live uh, to see tomorrow. I like how excited she gets. I got glasses. I got pants. You could give her like a piece of. You could use her a piece of poo and she'd probably be really excited. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now her hope meter's all the way up. There we go. What else is here? Looks like a radio station. Wait, this is another airport. The army, Jabberwock army. We've we found the military base. Oh, thank God. Because I was gonna say there's already an airport. They wouldn't have another airport on the island, would they? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm is right. Hmm. That thing over there. I don't think any of these work. Probably though. The tank? Is that a tank? Is it real? No, not just that. There's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. Like the missile, like the missile thing, the giant missiles. I think, I don't know why you didn't comment about this. Yeah, I've seen tanks, but this is more alarming. <laughs> what if um, Sailor Moon turns out to be the mastermind? That could always be the case. I mean, we, I, I don't trust Sailor Moon. Something about Sailor Moon like makes me weird. I, I knew there was a bear here somewhere. Um, I don't trust Sailor Moon because she's like, I she's, you could she's do like it. Monokuma, but not Monokuma. And I feel like at least Monokuma was straightforward with us. Like he tells us his motives and like what he's trying to do. Whereas, whereas Sailor Moon is kind of reserved about it. She's not, she's not, um, what do you call it? Truthful upfront kind of thing. She kind of beats around the bush a little bit. This, this helicopter. Oh, that was the one killed that used to kill Muffin Man. This is a helicopter Mon uh, Monokuma used to execute Muffin Man. This, this helicopter don't screw with me. Are you, are you, did you, did he just try to fight the helicopter? I like how Sodio is there. Why is, yeah, why is Sodio there of all the people? I gotta get Akane because Akane is always big into like being the toughest and stuff, but Sodio doesn't make sense. How? Um, Jimmy, what happened? It's nothing, it's fine. I didn't, I didn't try to fight the giant metal helicopter, it's fine. I couldn't help punching it, but I just ended up hurting my fist. Damn it, I'm so weak. Well, I don't think anybody could punch a helicopter. <laughs> I don't think you're I don't think you're alone, Jimmy. I'm just letting you know. Is it this is a tank, right? Is it really? Can it move? I'm gonna take a guess none of these work though. Except for maybe the weapons. I don't think any of the vehicles work though. Like the like the airport, none of them work. It's a military truck. There's something in the cargo box. Firearms, that's a ton of them! <laughs> that's a lot of missile launchers. I wanna know what the big silver things are. There's a lot of different weapons like guns and I take rockets uh, and, um, and anti take rockets carefully stacked in here. Is that really all right to handle these carelessly? No, <laughs> no, the answer is no. They could easily kill all Monokuma with these. Yeah, but it, remember Monokuma has many versions of himself. So you kill one, he comes back and kills you because remember you can't hurt Monokuma, that's one of the rules. So you'd kill one of his copies, he'd come back in another copy and like take revenge. He's, he's a pretty slippery fellow. It's very hard to catch him off guard. Um, is this a military truck? Unlike the airplane of the first island, this looks like it actually has an engine. It's, oh, they actually work. Well, I guess you can't get off an island in a car. You can just get to other parts of the island. So the only thing that probably doesn't work is the helicopter and anything that flies, which could get him off the island, like a boat. That's a, he, he can, um, hey, we can use the robot. I mean, that's true. I mean, you got a point. We can make our own Mono Beast. I don't even know how to drive. And besides, it's not like I can escape this island by driving off of it. I mean, you could try. <laughs> Maybe just make a bridge out of cars, just slowly start making a bridge. And hopefully make it to salvation somewhere. Let's talk about Kane. Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here! Huh. I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Obviously. <laughs> a real violent fights with his fist! <laughs> we could make an army of sailor moons. An army of monomies that fight Monokuma. <laughs> our own our own army of robots. That'd be hilarious. That goes for women too. Oh, right. You want to battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boot pillows. Uh, no thanks. 
boob pillows. Yeah, Akane would beat your food. I'm not. I hate to tell you, Jimmy, but Akane would beat your ass. Um, this appears to be a military base. It is that so? N and I'm not. What's your? Why do you think that, Sonia? Is it because it says army base on the outside of the of the facility? Ha! Huh, good, good job, Sonia. Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here is rather extensive. Right. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future Foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff with, like a tank and heavy weapons. Not correctly, at least. Huh? Huh? Really? In my country, even a child in grade school could operate a <laughs> What school did you go to? No problemo. Ah, uh, no problemo. Uh of course, in modern for warfare, uh, wait, of course, in modern warfare is required class in all of our great schools, and especially with anime and now this, and, so and sociopaths, or killers. So don't forget the killer part, Jimmy. Sonia's country never ceases about them. However, However, weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. I am concerned. If they're not, then they're just paperweights. If no one uses them, they're nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, the stuff in the base probably won't be useful Please to wait. us. No, that is wrong. Huh? Um. Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator's seat. Also, another thought what a be Hino you know, could swim out of here? I mean, she could, but she's not a swimmer. She's a gymnast. It's kind of different. Like, she never said that she could swim well. She could leave like, Bobby! <laughs> I think Motokuba would probably reel her back in. That'd be funny, though. She just takes off without us. The Future Foundation's insignia. Oh, it is. Jabberwock Island Development Plan. Oh, it's the whole plan to make the island. And then there's Monokuma's, Monokuma's si sigil, of course. Jabberwock Island Development Plan? What is this? I assume it belongs to Monokuma, and it was placed rather, um, ostentiously? Ostentiously. I think that's the word. Also, why did Sailor Moon not open up this island first? We would have got a lot more answers in whatever island she opened up first. I don't know how we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it, like you said. It's hard to know how much we can trust it, because again, he tends to like, I was talking to Dirk about it, he doesn't lie, but he doesn't tell the truth either. Like he tries to like stretch things to the point that it's neither a lie nor the truth. Um, and also he tries to like construe things. It's like, it's very hard to trust him. So what does it say? Beyond what is written here, I do not know. Like the book that he gave um, Nacho had all 16 profiles, but one's fake. So, I mean, he lied about that profile, but he didn't lie about, like, the other one. So, it's, like, really hard to, like, differentiate what's truth and lie kind of thing. If you have what is written here, I don't know much. Yeah. But it does document Jabberwock's island redevelopment plan as a, at considerable length. What is that plan? To, to place Jabberwock Island under the future Foundation's control and prepare its central island, central headquarters. A central headquarters for the future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist situation. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? Probably because it's so secluded. It's like in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of the ocean. Um, it'd be like the perfect, like, 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 like the best evil plan. <laughs> the best, the best place for an evil villain <laughs> to do all their scheming. What if Sailor Moon's revenge? She just pisses you guys off by opening useless islands for us to get. I mean, that's true. I mean, you're not, you're not wrong. It's also, she's about building up hope. So maybe by opening smaller islands, first she builds up hope until we get to here. Um, in actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was in an uninhabited for a long time. Oh, and then the Future Foundation came in and swooped in and picked it up. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time? If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked at the hotel, and the hotel is still really clean. Could that Future Foundation, could that, could that, the, wait, could that, that's a weird, could that the Future Foundation's responsibility, could that be, is that what we're trying to say? Could that be the Future Foundation's responsibility? Like that's, that sentence is a little weird. Words are hard for me, but I think that's the little, <laughs> but more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? I cannot discern that from this um, this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp that those what those words mean. Well. However, there was one more import uh, one more thing that caught my attention. There's more. Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Um. It was written here that the central island houses a large administrative building, which is not there anymore. But it's just there's only a statue. 
However, we could not find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? However... But according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters, could it be, could it be the same building? Um, they are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters, or so it is written. I think the building's underground. Truthfully, I think the building's underground. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it, what the hell is going Perhaps. on? We were so distracted uh, by all the horrible situations that kept happening one after the other. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue, and that is the mystery of this island. But what is really going on? This history doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. Maybe? But I also don't see that either. She is too smart. I think she is a little too observant. Like, you would really have to get, um, catch her off guard. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Nacho will die next. I place my buddy down on that. Monokuma's getting, yeah. He's getting, like, Coco from the first game. He's getting a little too, like, annoying for Monokuma. He's being, uh, he's being, like, a pain in his side, like a stick. He's being, like, a thorn. A thorn in his paw. To say. To say the least. Plushy factory? Plushy factory. Oh, hi, Chia. Fancy meeting you here. Why smoke is building from the building in the back? Is this some kind of factory? If it if it's got uh, Monoku's face on it, I'm sure it's a, a shady factory anyway. Hajime. Hey, Jimmy, good timing. What's up, Chia? Hmm? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? No, this building looks perfectly normal. <laughs> I wonder if they make candy bars. I was thinking it might be a good idea if I thoroughly look around inside, but no? I'm just guessing the doors are locked. I'm guessing this is where this is where baby monokumas are made. Since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be a dangerous to go alone. Then do you want to go inside together? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? I think she's starting to realize that she can't really trust people right now. It's starting to get down to the point where like one of them is the traitor. Unless we already killed the traitor, can you imagine? We might have gotten lucky and killed them. Let's see what's around here. Is there a bear? Is there a collectible? No, I don't see a collectible. There's a door and a. Let me try the garage first. All right, then go I'm go I'm going inside. We're not wait. The the garage is open. I thought the garage would be locked. If we have to go through the side door. Plot twist. So does the trade. I don't think so. So does too. Again, unless he's a robot, that would maybe make sense. But again, he's. I think he's not the smartest boy. He's too. He's too. Um. This is where baby monokumas are made. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> what the heck is this? Why are there palm trees? Oh, they're destroying the palm trees to make monokumas. I like how they're just like, hey guys. Yeah, Sudo's too dumb dumb. Unless again, unless he's a robot and they made him dumb. Again, I'm actually leaning towards Chia being the ba uh, the traitor. Chia's fairly smart. Who was being manufactured one after the other and being carried away on a conveyor belt? Monokuma? Oh, I see, I see a something. <laughs> yeah, let me just, oh, oh. That's a really good hiding spot to be hidden with all the I've other Monokuma. Found. Oh God, not the sharpest tool in this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not, not a little bit. See, this is what we were talking about. Like one person's like, well, you could easily kill Monokuma. I'm like, just cause you kill one doesn't necessarily mean you kill the, the other like 1,000 Monokumas. The Monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket one after the other. They better not be real. I picked up one with my hand. I see they're all, all their stuffed animals, so they're not real. What are they, souvenirs? <laughs> Thank you for playing our murder game. Here's your souvenir. Uh, Monokuma plushies. Oh, the real Monokuma is, is sort of like a plushie too. But unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. Wait, they're plushies, they're not real. I thought we, were, we could kill Monokuma with the weapons. Steal them! <laughs> But well, Monokuma is like a robot plushie, and but we already know that there's multiple versions, so you kill one, another one pops up. <laughs> isn't, the, uh, isn't the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies. Life-size plushies? <laughs> I was planning on to, to hit the big time with these, that's why I'm making them like crazy. Yahoo! I'm gonna be rich! What do you think? Way too many. They're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. Hey, maybe, you never know. Maybe it'll be high demand for them. Speaking of devil, they're not just speaking. <laughs> speaking of Monokumu, <laughs> you imagine if I, we stole them all, pal? That would literally, I, my whole, the whole apartment would be full of Monokumas. I'd be, be like, hey guys, I wouldn't even need my office chair. I'd just sit on like a bunch of stuffed animals. Monokumu's life-size plushies. I don't want one, want it. That's not nice. 
I want one. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna push the button. Half and half is my nickname for Monokuma. I, oh, yeah, no, you told me that, I think, when we uh, when we were playing the first Dagger Ropa. The conveyor belt is, um, belt is endlessly moving through this um, enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is pressed and eventually made into the stupid, in this baby. Oh, because it, oh, because they're getting fibers from the tree. I was like, why are they using coconut trees? Um, to be much what deep down he wants one. Hmm. Hmm, I see. So this place is man uh, for manufacturing life-size monochroma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? <laughs> Don't look down on me! Do you really think it's just a- just for life-size plushies? <laughs> There's a lot more monokuma merch in the- in the good- in- in the goods warehouse next door. Hey, hey. He's trying to sell us- Buy my merch! No one else is buying my merch! Buy it! I'm overstocked! Yeah, I might call Monokuma Devil Bear, but Devil Bear makes a little bit more sense. What should we do? Honestly, I don't don't feel like I don't feel like going. It's still. I wanna go back to my cabin and eat my scrambled eggs. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? You're right, then we should go there for just a little while. What the hell? What the Oh my god, I didn't realize how fast this arm is going. Holy Jesus! I think that's it. Yeah, we, I think that's it. Oh wait, I didn't actually hold on. I didn't talk to her. That's right, I didn't talk to her yet. She's just blankly staring at the machine. Looks like she's taken aback too. Well, that's obvious, I suppose. Well? Um, watching simple machines like this reminds me of games. Games. Yep. Like this one game where you were just you just put um, caps on pens, or another game where you try to guess a person's gender. Is that even fun? That's it. That's all you had to say, your words of wit. Thank you for bestowing your words of wisdom. <laughs> Sonia was more helpful. <laughs> Looks like the break room is on the other side of the store. Sounds like a place for housewives to gossip, but it doesn't seem like there's anyone at this fact. Oh, I thought that was the exit. Wait, hold on. No. Okay. I, 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 like, I thought I hit something. I thought I hovered over something, so I was like, yes, your gender. <laughs> Seems like a really bad game. <laughs> So the warehouse, right? I'm guessing this is the warehouse. I'm hoping that there's hats and t-shirts and blankets, pillows. I feel like there's a bear hidden in here somewhere. Without thinking, I peeked in into the pile of stacks of cardboard boxes. There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar? First there was the Monokuma archive in the funhouse, now there's a plushie factory and all these goods? How, how full of himself is he? <laughs> Mascot probably doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. He's got a point. At some point, it'll, like the the want will die. <laughs> Means he's at least smart. Mascot that isn't popular anymore. He's like a piece of candy without any sugar. Wow. Wow. Monokuma this. Monokuma that. Monokuma guitar. The Mono brand. The Mono brand is strong. I want a Monokuma plushie guitar. I mean, maybe not a guitar because I'm not a big like guitar player, but a plushie would be awesome. In other words, it has no reason for existing. And now he's gone. He's starting to talk even crazier. He's starting to pop up and go away like a crazy Monokuma Mudkip. <laughs> I feel like it would just be a Mudkip with like, with like a split. Like it'd be like light blue and then dark blue. And then like with the crazy face here and like the normal face here. Tons of books. Did you write a biography about yourself too, Monokuma? There's a bunch of books stacked up high. What in the world are these? Monokuma's porch! Little tree collection! Ah, uh, on a bright summer's eve, <laughs> I um, I saw the I saw the wind take up the leaves. <laughs> I could not believe. <laughs> Monokuma's poetry collection. How stupid! Who the hell is gonna read this crap? Hey, hey. There's another book here too. Let's see. Monokuma's most precious book. See? That's the actual title of this book, but it's uh, um, it's a collective noon poem. I guess the Mono Brand joke was used for- I, apparently, apparently. Is it nudes of Monokuma or nudes of other people? Because Monokuma's already naked, right? Monokuma's already naked, exactly. Yep. I know. You know. Oh my god, this, 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 the way the camera like jolts oh, back and forth is very disoriented. There are a bunch of cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other. There are various goods inside them. They are even household appliances and musical instruments. They're probably used for packaging goods before they're shipped. Looks like they're waiting for, to be shipped, but I don't, um, I don't, oh, but I don't, these are even gonna leave the island. Oh, I, sorry, I doubt these are gonna even leave the island. What are even nudes? I, I've never been asked or given. <laughs> Which is not necessarily a, a bad thing. 
Because some people, are, you're like, hey, how's it going? And they're like, here's a nude. And it's like, that's not how, this is not how we say hello. <laughs> it's very abrupt. It's a very, very aggressive hello. This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? <laughs> I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores to sell my merch and make them look all boom. Then they'd stand out, you know. No store would sell your stuff. You're so stupid. Of course not. You're such a fool. That's why I'll open an official Monokuma store shop. I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world. Of course, the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie. I can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. Oh! Enough already, you have no business sense, so just stop it. Also, here's the reason I don't trust Mo um, Sailor Moon as much anymore. Sailor Moon brought us to this island for a vacation and trip. How did she not know that uh, Monokuma had a factory on one of the islands? Like, you would think that she would know, because like she was surprised to see him here. But like, there's a lot of like hints that Monokuma's on this island with the factory and the theme park. It's like, how did she not notice these things? So she brought us here on purpose, knowing that Monokuma was here. You have no business sense anyways. Just stop. No, no. Hey, hey, don't say that. Let's do our best together. We'll be as popular as Pogs when we're as popular as Pogs and words. Oh my god, I remember Pogs. Hey, hey. Um, don't you remember how long those those stay popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major I won't mistake. Forgive because you. there's no merch on me! My little sister! Oh, Sailor Moon, my little sister. Don't you know? The Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear. I don't know what Aesop's is. Not, not a tortoise? Hey, um... A long, long time ago, there were these two old guys. Hey. Two old guys living together? Shing. What's wrong with that? Those old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The, and... <laughs> the best story. <laughs> oh, uh... Huh? Did you even need the old guys in that story? In other words. So even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. <laughs> A half pink rabbit is so lame. You don't even have what um, what ounce of good fashion sense. You, stupid brother. you did this to me. You're the one who has no fashion sense. Oh, oh! I, I figured this was coming. This is just a sibling abuse at this point. The real question is, when will Sailor Moon make her own shop? That's true. They'd be in, would they be competitors of each other? It'd be like Burger King and McDonald's. Yeah. What a hopeless way of snapping back. But honestly, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Just so believe it. You might have made too much, just too much stuff in general. So whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Here. Come on, what are you waiting for? I am not. I don't get paid enough for this job, Monokuma. Give me. Let's let's run. <laughs> You're right. Let's run. I don't want to work. No. <laughs> He said he'd only pay us three dollars an hour. <laughs> Get the hell out of here! We ran out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory dis inventory disposal. It's like how they ran. Monokuma would like your poetry collection plushie and guitar. <laughs> You're like Santa for Christmas. I want a Monokuma plushie. Um, Mona Mona Santa. Mona Santa. I want a plushie and a guitar. <laughs> it's like you you just got tired. <sighs> Yeah, you're right. That's it? That's all we're gonna say about what happened. <laughs> Outside? Yes? Hey, Jimmy, I was looking for you. What's up, boss baby? Well, I was thinking you've probably finished exploring this island by now. I, you don't know that. Maybe I have more island to look at. You're right. I think I've explored everywhere at least once for now. Right. Then do you want me to, to meet up with everyone and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. I haven't even didn't checked the food vendors. See? I haven't checked all of the island yet, boss baby. Later. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know boss baby left the area, he actually took the time to tell everyone about that? Huh. I think he found something. Well, now it's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make the others wait. I should hurry over there, over to the street with the food stands. Do, 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 do. Is that? Are you eating ramen? <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't playing this game when I had to do my prep for my procedure. I would have been like hungry. <laughs> All right, looks like everyone's here, mm -hmm. huh? What about Nacho? <laughs> Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Like, I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. Now, so how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Mm. 
Not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I, I also feel like I didn't learn anything. Also, by the way, Monokuma is eavesdropping in the corner while he eats his noodles. His oodles of noodles. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if anything. However... However, I believe there is no there's no question that the future days is found the future foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Huh? Are you sure about that? Huh? huh? What what are you saying? If they're not our enemies, then what are they? If they're our allies, there's no way they trap us on this island. Oh, yeah. That's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Hey. Sailor Moon works for the Future of the Foundation, right? She's pretty much Adam and um Adam admitted it by this point, has she? I don't know if she's um, admitted that she works with Free Foundation. But even though Mo uh, Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Sailor Moon has been opposing him. Huh? Oh, that's true, because if she's from the, from the Future Foundation, why is the Future Foundation... The Future Foundation should be helping Monokuma, not fighting him. So they actually might be our friends. You mean pretending to oppose him, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. <laughs> then it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Please wait. Even if they both oppose one another, is it not possible that they are both our and that's true. But an enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing. It's starting to get pumped up! Like three-way battle? That's kinda hot. Hey. Why after all this time are you suddenly backing up the future foundation? Whoa. Are you talking like that because you're actually the treasure that's working for them? Damn it. Don't be a fucking idiot. I won't be fooled. No way, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't. Shut it down. Cola, shut up! <laughs> yes! Listen. There was never a traitor. Uh, Monokuma lied to oh us. My. Lied? Well? It is simple, a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious of each other. Excellent. How can you not believe in our friends after everything we have endured together? <sighs> Weak. How we That's Nacho. That sounds like Nacho. There he is. Yeah. I was waiting for him to show up. I was just like, it's just a matter of time for him to find us. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. Such despair. That weakness, it's hopeless. That's why he doesn't like us, because we're hopeless. N Nacho? What are you doing here? I thought we were hopeless. Also, is this a bear or is this just him eating? Oh, that's an actual stuffed animal. I thought it was just a moving thing. I didn't realize that was a stuffed animal. I thought it was just there for looks. That's what you get for eating ramen in my face. Not sure. where have you been this whole Jeez. time? I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys just keep running around in circles. What are you, what are you hamsters? Don't you talk about hammies in front of me. <laughs> How dare you too soon. Oops, if I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by the weekly who dropped out? Wow. That Holy is... crap. What? What does that? Now then. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well, well I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone. I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us. Hey, Phew. who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> hey, probably the survivor of the killing of the killing school life. So he's saying that one of the six, right? Because there was Toko, Byaku, Makoto, Hina, Koko. I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, and Hiro. All survive, so he thinks it's one of them. Huh? huh? How about it? If so, a lot things might start adding up, don't you think? If this if this game is a lot like the first game, I feel like Monokuma is going to have an like they're going to influence the next killing, or at least try to cover up who did it. Are you talking about Byaku? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <No. Yeah. laughs> What stage? You're the one not making sense at all. She's not making sense. <laughs> the little baby Neko. Jeez. Chib Chibi Neko. Um, but still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Byaku, a survivor of the killing school, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right. Don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That is an order. The issue is not with what he means. Please take back what you said about Byaku dying in vain. That's right. Yeah, listen to Miss Sonia. Well? You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like the version of Nacho we have been witness witness to. I don't like Nacho. I so much. I don't trust Nacho. <laughs> I don't like it either. Well, I never liked it in the first place. This is troubling. Uh, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can ever comprehend my suffering. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth. What truth? What do you know? <laughs> 
curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? Actually. To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured it out, uh, figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it won't try to take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor, even if it cost me my life. What? You're going to weed out the traitor? Please wait! As I already said, there is no traitor. <laughs> yeah. I'll put an end, you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually a traitor, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're a funny guy, Cola. Oh, why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will this I? This is exciting! Will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope? You. What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then. Now then, I I should get going, but if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him it, he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. What does that mean? Mister, excuse me, sir, I'm very concerned. Huh? <laughs> tell him I'm not worried because I'm planning to go all out. Besides the, ne besides the next one will probably be the last. So he did, So what he's saying is that chapter six will have no killing? That's interesting. Macho, what does that mean? Bye now. Bye. Uh, sir, you're just as bad as Monokuma. You just show up, say like, you say confusing things and you just leave. Macho and Jory, um, ignored Chia's question and left us. We are powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that um, trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey. I don't want to, I don't want to think about it, but could be, could he be planning, planning a kill? Are you kidding me? A kill? Who, who's he gonna kill? Damn it. Based on how he was talking, it looks like his target is the traitor. Right. There is no such person. I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along, I will never, ever believe that. Like Sonia said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if, what if it's Nacho? Or what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? I mean, if they got rid of their memory, or if they're a robot, or if they're an alien. What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Uh. In regards of who he's targeting, there's a high chance that He's planning to kill, right? That's right. Then we gotta um, tie him up again. Force him to stop. Um, forcing him to stop is the only way. Wow. If we can find him, because he's so elusive, um, it's impossible. Neko's not even here anymore. I'll show you my serious yeah, side. I've got, I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. <laughs> I wonder, does he actually move, or does she like carry him around in, his, in her pocket? Huh? Then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nacho, huh? Cola is right. It's dangerous to let Nacho wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. But what is the indescribable anxious, um, anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. Maybe it's just indigestion. <laughs> so scrambled eggs from this morning. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island and return to the hotel. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Where? What am I doing? Are we are we going to said hotel? Or am I going? I'm going. I'm going sleepy sleep. I'm going sleepy sleep. Maybe it's because he's already. <laughs> well, damn. I want to see if I could go. Sorry, nighttime would be good. I wanted. I want to go to the photo machine. I have like 600 photo coins. Let me spend my mud buttons. I want more presents. Don't do this to me, game. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god, I almost collected all the bears for this chapter already? I only missed one from last chapter. One from... So I missed one from chapter 5. I missed one from chapter 4, one from chapter 3, two from chapter 2, and then two from chapter 1. That's not bad. Not gonna lie, I will be very happy if he go, goes this time. He's, I, I like, like him. Like, I like, the, I like the character design and stuff, but like... If I knew him in real life, I would be very annoying. <laughs> and I think that's why, I, like I said, I can't trust him. Like, I, like, like, like Pebble says, I, like, I like the character design and I love the personality of the game, but he's just so annoying sometimes. Cause he's just, not like annoying like Yoko, but annoying in the fact that like he just, he's like helping, but not helping. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain if you can even call these clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking all of these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for today, rest my mind for a while, and then I'll give this some more thought tomorrow. It's like a love-hate relationship with Nacho. Actually, 
Words are extremely dangerous. Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with erasers or a backspace. That's why you need to be extremely careful. I hate characters who purposely throw stupid comments into the combo and draw the thoughts of, yeah, yeah, I get that. Same goes for me. Also, Pebbles, I was talking to Durgan, like if I play the third game or Despair Girls and there's another character like Sakura or Gundam that like, you know, ends up sacrificing themselves for the betterness of the group and I end up liking them as my favorite character, I'm gonna be like, I see a trend with my favorite characters. It seems like they're always the ones that sacrifice themselves for the greater good of the group. So I'm kind of curious if I'll pick another person like that. Cause it seems like I gravitate towards those people. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right, when I was being trained at the safari park, at the time there were two animals at the park that got a lot that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Sir Sir Dietrich, and the other was fo a fox named Chacha. Chacha Jr. Or Chacha Sr. To be honest, Chacha Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he'd just stare at her boobs for the whole time. That's why Sir Dietrich would order him to steal panties. That idiot would get really happy when he exchanged the panties he stole for Dietrich's old undie. I'm very concerned. Also, this one time, I don't know what kind of safari you were working at, the three of us went to a steakhouse and the waiter asked, how would you like it cooked? Chacha probably said, with <laughs> I mean, she has. Sir Dietrich was pretty crafty. He knew how to play Chacha Jr. Um, he made Chacha Jr. abduct a fawn and drown it. Then he saved that drowning fawn and said, oh, okay, I was like... That's horrible! It's still horrible, but Jesus! And he made Chacha Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he really did some shady things. Anyways, the three of us were getting along together. We were um, living a fun life in the safari park. That's right, until the day I ended up saying those words. I actually said this to Chacha. Foxes are squirrels, naturals, and enemies. Oh! And it broke the friendship. The next day I stumbled across what was left of Dietrich Sr. He had been eaten. Good thing I immediately tattled to a male employee so he could be... Um, so could, um, he could put down Chacha with our hunting Oh my god! This is horrible! I don't like this story. This is the worst, worst bedtime story ever. Even though I, re I regret saying what I what said back the then. Jeez, squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. This is fucked up, Monokuma. I'm all fucked up. 